Hey, this is Bill. In this video, what we're going to do is take a look at having, now get this, one wallet, one pro wallet. Maybe you just have one computer, so you just have one wallet on that one computer. And then what you have is a number of iPro network accounts that you want to funnel the coins into one wallet. So let's take a look at what we need to do. There are other videos that go over setting up the address in your iPro network back office under the My Rewards. In this, what we're going to look at is a feature that the wallet has where you can actually create multiple addresses. So here we're going to go to receive. So what we have is a number of addresses. Now I clicked on receive and you can actually put in new addresses. So like for example, let's say I have a new address and I want to name it IPN account 1234. Okay. And um, what I'm going to do is make it normal. Now you can use normal stealth and BIP32. This is probably Bitcoin Improved Program 32. I'm not familiar with that one. Then we have Stealth. This might be the one that's competing against the Segwick on the fork that's going to happen here shortly. But uh, here we have Stealth. What Stealth does is it basically doesn't allow tracking of your address. So you're able to hide some of your information. Uh, but in this case, we're just going to use normal. So IPN account 1234. I'm going to add the address. And you see here, IPN account 1234. Let's add another address. Same thing. We can click on new address. And this one, let's put IPN account 5678. Keep it normal. And we click add address. So you see what's happened is here's the accounts. Here's the address right here. Okay, so the value here is that you're going to go ahead and copy this and put it in one iPro network account. And then you can take the second address here and copy paste that and put that in a different iPro network account. If you tried pasting the same address into two separate accounts, you realized it wouldn't work. So this is the workaround for that. And then this, again, gives you the ability to track which coins come from which wallets. I know some people will manage and look after coins for people. And this gives you the ability to label and track the coins that were added to a wallet. So that's a little bit about creating multiple wallets and using them in different environments. For example, so another use could actually be something like a project that you're working on. Maybe you want to put a buy me a coffee logo on a website and then you would create an address for that logo. So you see you can actually track different web statistics um, depending on where you might be even placing stuff on a blog or a website. So you know kind of let your mind drift there and you can probably come up with a number of creative ways to do that. Uh, you may have noticed too you can also have a QR code so if we select that wallet show the QR code then this is what you can actually put to accept donations. I've seen actually like little rickshaws where they actually accept Bitcoin and they have a QR code right there so the person can take their phone out and scan it. So you might even consider having, um, you could actually even have like donation cards for projects, missions, where you could, you could actually create a $10 one, a $25 one, a $100 one, like if you're asking for commitments and so people could scan that right with their phone. So just an idea on how creative you can be. And there we covered a little bit about the addresses.